Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody. Today I'll be breaking down uh, the second to last formation that I'll ever break down out of this Carolina Panthers offense and it is going to be the gun spread flex formation and it is going to be a video about bombs. I'm going to show you how to bomb every single coverage including match coverages, including man coverages. All that is going to be shown in this video and it'll be a whole lot of fun because what's more fun than getting a one play touchdown? I don't know many things that are. Let's first talk about how to get four wide receivers on the field because that is actually very important. Um, first thing we have to make sure is we go to our depth chart and have our guy that has slaughter apprentice because we have a slaughter apprentice receiver for this ebook uh, in the fourth slot. So that's what we want to do. In this case, it's Michael Thomas, so I'll just do that. Uh, an ultimate team on your ultimate team lineup, you can just make sure that the slaughter apprentice wide receiver is in the fourth wide receiver spot. But please do not forget uh, to have your slot apprentice wide receiver in the specialist section as slot wide receiver. That's just very important to know. Sorry, I slurred my words there. Have the guy that has slot apprentice on your fourth receiver spot and have him as a specialist or in the specialists on the specialist screen uh, be the slot wide receiver. That's what you need. Uh, now, we want to go to the strong slots package. Just flip through until you find it. Now, you'll see... Uh, number 85 is the tight end and if we go to uh, strong slots he's uh, on the right side the right outside wide receiver so if I now sub in a wide receiver right there now we have four wide receivers on the field but we don't have our number 13 we don't have him where we want him to be which is where the tight end was at earlier so at the 87 spot all we need to do now is just go over to him substitute another wide receiver in and now you see that number 13 is there I don't understand why that works, but it just does. Why shallow cross is going to be the first play. And we'll focus on beating cover two first. Cover two, it's a pain in the ass. But with this, you can beat it. The most important thing for this is to have Thomas on an out route. And if possible, while you're snapping the ball, hold the left stick to the right. So that right there. I cut off the drop back a little bit. Now there's the tiny window there. Please keep in mind that I have 99 speed and 99 zone and 99 man coverage, uh, cornerbacks and safeties all over the field. So if this throw looks tight, uh, that is because, yes, I have the best possible reaction times uh, to this. But you see, there's a window there where I can throw the ball. Another, uh, the other great thing about this place is, this, uh, is the skinny post. So let's just pretend, oh, I don't trust that fade route. Right there, you see the post is open. Also for a lot of yards. So skinny posts against cover two are always a good thing. Let's keep going. PA deep outs. That's another very nice play to beat cover two. All you have to do for this is just streak uh, the guy on the left side. And you see that the skinny post over the middle gets open for one play touchdown. Um, that is uh, that open because you have to streak on the left and the deep out route. So if, uh, that's how the play looks. Uh, actually, the deep out route is covered by um, all of the X factors on defense, but there's a deep out route on the right side, and that just uh, keeps the deep half on the right uh, occupied. And right there, you see that's just a very easy one play touchdown. Very good against cover two. Important for those two setups to be with the halfback to the wide side. Um, the next setup we're going to be talking about is going to be against cover three. One play touchdown against cover three once again. All the plays are again are gonna be uh, one play touchdowns. Let's talk about I don't I guess I can talk about it. Uh, PAD pass. That's another very good setup against cover three. All you need to do, if I were you, I would have the or it works better if you have the halfback to the short side. Double team the guy I have double teamed right here, which is L1 down on the right stick, and then just toggle until you're on the right guy on this guy. Snap the ball. Now you see how I can roll out. That's actually against cover two. I mean, it still worked, but that was not that was not what I, I was trying to show you. Anyways, I'll go back to the play call screen, come out in cover three, and set all the audibles because it is actually pretty interesting to have all the audibles because if you have uh, the right place at your disposal, you can audible from gun bunch to uh, this formation, and you'll have a whole lot of beaters. Um, let's go white corner, mesh, and yeah, we should be good to go. So PAD pouts, we'll call that. On defense, I have a cover three. You can see it right here. And pretty much the only setup is block the halfback. And there you go. Chop block, like I told you. And now you see 
Um, it's a weird thing because I have the best O line in the game. I traded all the players, uh, and I still don't get the time I need to. Uh, but yeah, let's try that again. Right there, we get the chop block, beautiful. And you see, I had to throw that a little bit early because I was scared of the pass rush. But you see how that's open. I'll have to complete it one more time, or one time at least, to show you that it works. Otherwise, I don't feel comfortable showing it. So right there, you see, I get the time. A Rod with 99 throw power. He's winding up. He's tossing it down the field, and you see that it works. Cover three. Let's go to the uh, to another cover three beater. For that, a wide corner is the play call. Uh, you only want to streak kill, and that's it. Block the halfback once again. Chop block to roll out. Um, this also gets butt naked. I really like the area of the field that that's, that, that gets into. It is a very easy throw because it's not as long uh, necessarily as the PA deep outs uh, throw. So it gets there a little bit quicker. It's nice because of that. Um, but yeah, only have to, all you have to do is streak. And then I personally like to drag Hopkins because let's just say, um, oh, he's got it covered. Then I can wait until the drag gets up the field and stuff like that. So it's just a nice optional. For example, if I get blitzed, I can dump it off to the drag and maybe not get sacked. So that's, pre that's pretty nice. Mesh, this is probably the best cover three beater that is in this formation because it is so weird and your opponent is not gonna be ready for it. The only thing you have to do is first of all, call mesh and then streak Thomas. That's the only thing you have to do. So if I snap the ball right here, this is so quick your opponent is not going to be ready for it it is just that quick another really good thing is this corner out in general uh if he deep has so right there i put a deep half on the guy that's over top of hopkins right there against the curl flat i can throw that to the outside that is also a pretty nice route to throw uh the backside routes they don't really matter that much it's just about the streak if i were really to uh, something like this and let's see if I can get the one play touchdown again oh surprise surprise I can very very nice one play touchdown I really like how that looks um, that's pretty much all that I have for cover three beaters I mean that's all you need you have a cover three beater with a post from right here from right here and also you have a very nice streak cover three beater from right here let's now talk about cover four uh, and a little bit of man coverage because those work actually pretty similarly it is important to know which cover four you're going against because there are actually three types of cover fours. Well, I guess technically four, but I'll get into the last, into the fourth one later. I want to first talk about cover four drop. That's one of the more popular cover fours. It acts like it says right there. It's a zone coverage. It doesn't have any matching principles, but it is very easy to beat because of that. So it is beat by pulling down one of the deep, uh, deep inside zones. And then throwing a post drop behind it. So I'll call Y shallow cross. And all I have to do is put uh, Thomas on a curl. And then I'll just drag both triangle and circle. This It's literally that easy. So right there you will see I get the post open. Actually wide open. Not just open. I think there are different levels of open. That is wide open. So yeah there really is nothing uh, that your opponent can do in a cover four to stop that. I mean he can... But if he doesn't know that it's coming, this is just, it's just an absolute touchdown. I guess you, or I guess, I know you believe me because you now saw how wide open that gets. Let's now talk about cover four match because that's actually pretty interesting. Cover four match often gives people trouble, but with the setups that I'll show you, not anymore. Um, White Shadow Cross is going to be the play again. This post route, it is really nice and I'll show you why in a second. I gotta set audibles first though. I'll come in and cover for quarters first. And I guess I'll explain to you how match coverage works. So, if you look at the play out right here, uh, this guy right here, he's gonna match on the one receiver every time unless there's an out route coming. In that case, he will uh, defend the out route and this guy right here will cover the in breaking route. So, um, if we don't have an out route on that side, that post route will be guarded man to man. The thing is that man-to-man -man coverage is not going to do a very good job of covering that post at all because this post is a man-beater. So all that I do is pretty much I put Hopkins on a drag, I curl Thomas just to keep make sure that no zone is there to stop him. Huh. 
very interesting i don't know why that just happened maybe it's because i'm on the wrong hash mark because if you saw right there the post the post rock got double covered so i'll try that again right here let's just see if it works okay so right there you see that it works i don't even have to make any uh further adjustments right there it's the best man coverage cornerback with 99 man coverage, 99 uh, speed, and 99 zone. Uh, and all the best abilities. And he's not covering that. Let's run it one more time just to show you that it works. You see right there, he hesitates a little bit because he doesn't know if he's supposed to keep, uh, to stick on the route. Once he realizes he's supposed to cover that man to man, it's too late already. So that is very nice to beat cover four quarters. And also it'll beat cover four palms. So let's just call it the play again. Snap the ball. Same principle. And it's just an absolute touchdown. So there's nothing your opponent can do against that. Of course he can. Um, but if he comes out in cover four palms and he doesn't recognize it. That's just. That's a bomb. I'm sorry. There's. He really has to know that you're going to throw that uh, to guard. I keep saying there's nothing you can do against it. Which of course there is. There's always defense for everything in this game. But if you can catch, if you can catch your opponent off guard uh, with that, that is very very fun. Now let's talk about the last cover four that I was talking about, and that is going to be cover six. And against cover six, it's kind of tricky because it depends on uh, where the cover six is at. So I'll just call cover six right here and right here. You can see that it is a cover two and a cover four combined. Two plus six, uh, two plus four is six. So that's where cover six comes from. And the difficult thing with that is that you don't always know where the uh, cover fours are and where the cover two is. So if I now uh, run this play right here, it's wide shallow cross again. It depends uh, on. It depends on which side the cover 4 is on, which side the cover 2 is on, because right there everything was bottled up. But if I were to flip this, now I have the cover 4 side on the uh, on the side of the cover 4 beater. And right there you can see, wow, he just, he guarded that, he guarded that perfectly uh, earlier if you remember. He didn't cover that at all. So I'll try that again, I'll put play. Uh, so snap the ball very nice right there you saw he was open I missed the throw but he was open now with that it is very tricky um, you have to kind of figure out which side he likes his cover four on which side he he wants his cover two on because otherwise there's no way you can um, you can defeat it if you look at this uh, defense right here uh, I guess I have to look at it this way um, you can see that the cornerback and safety on the right side, the cornerback is a little bit further, is backed up a little bit further. That is usually a pretty good tell again uh, for the cover four being on that side. But if you baseline, that tell is gone. So if your opponent comes up baseline, there's really no way to tell. You just have to run the play and kind of figure out um, and kind of figure out what's happening. That's pretty much the only way you can defend it. If you can, if you see that you're uh, that. Uh, hmm. I guess one very good way of figuring that out is to run something like this, double streaks, and then underneath have just maybe a cross or a drag to, just to have something to check down to. And just look at the two streaks. If you see that the outside cornerback is going back with the streak, that's the side the cover four is on. So that's kind of a trick to read it. It's just risky because you might waste the play. But kind of fig just trying to figure out which side the cover four is on that can be very helpful uh, to beating it. Cover uh, cover six and cover nine work very similarly. I don't actually know why one is co called cover six and cover nine. To me, it's the same. Uh, but yeah, cover six and cover nine are both beaten this way. Man coverage. Let's talk about man coverage because man coverage is pretty difficult to beat. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. The most important thing against man coverage is to have slot apprentice. Slot apprentice is. Uh, probably the most important thing combined with a uh, backfield mismatch so I'll come out in this right here uh, and my setup for uh, to beat man coverage is generally just to have a post a drag route and an angle route maybe you want to motion him across have this guy on a zig and just a lot of man beating routes uh, the post can beat man coverage the angle route is guaranteed to beat man coverage and right there, I tried 
throw it out with the pass lead. It's man coverage. You know, you guys know how to beat man coverage, or you don't know. Um, I don't know what I just said there. Man coverage is just very difficult to beat this year. You just have to keep mixing it up because your opponent is going to put some random zones out there, and you have to make sure that you're. Uh, you have your opponent guessing uh, wrongly, and you guess correctly. So, right there, just throw the anger out. And sometimes your opponent is gonna absolutely bag you with with his main coverage. Nothing is gonna be open. In that case, you just have to be smart enough. All right, nothing is open. Have to recognize that. Roll out of the pocket and just throw the ball away. Sometimes that's gonna have to happen. But if you are patient enough and you just keep putting man beating routes out there, uh, you'll get them more often times than your, than your opponent will get you so man coverage is kind of hit or miss you just have to keep going back to it and keep mixing up the setups uh sometimes it'll work for you sometimes it won't but if you stick around long enough it'll work more of, more often than not so right there the post route got open yes that's pretty much all there is about this scheme it's not really a scheme as much as it is just coverage bombs you can make a scheme out of it i did that i put some stuff in uh the ebook that i'm doing uh, the written down version version of if you want uh go follow the twitch i'll give instructions on over there how to get the ebook uh make sure to follow like i said link is in the description subscribe to the channel Turn on notifications if you don't want to miss the rest of this ebook. Next video is going to be about Gun Bunch. It's going to be about an hour long video. It's going to be very helpful to you guys. Beats every coverage. But also has a very, very nice scheme behind it. So you should definitely be ready for that. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next video. And peace out.